I'm president currently of Coalition of Indian Undergraduate Students, CIUS, and it's the Indian Association here for all incoming undergraduate students. We are the top organization, I have to admit. We have the biggest, uh, we put on the biggest events, we have the most people, we have the most money. It's a nice social organization where people can get together, hang out with friends. The word I'm using here for CI West is community. We use coalition, and I feel like coalition is a loose word, but it's community. I was born in India, so all my family's back there. My friends here really become like my family. CI West is more like an eye-opener to how many different kinds of Indians there are. And they wanted me basically for the fact that I had no idea what Indian culture was. And I think it's awesome how we, what we do. I think it's great how we spread our culture. It's CIUS's job uh, to educate MSU about how Indian people have done certain things in life. As ancient and diverse as this multifaceted land, India, it is this variety, a special hallmark of India, that provides a breathtaking ensemble of experiences that is uniquely Indian. Okay. Um, my parents came from a pretty conservative background. So when I came here, um, my parents had both, you know, being pretty strong Indian values into my head. In India, they have a lot of past values, and they have people passing things down to them. And it's really traditional, really genuine. And when you come to the States, Things are a lot different, you know? I had no idea about anything. And the term they used to call me was coconut. Brown the outside, wet on the inside. Well, yeah, I mean, Indian culture has been assimilated into American culture. As soon as I came to college, I was able to, you know, let loose a little bit more. Here I can be very liberal, and I can speak what's on my mind, and I can say what I want, and I can eat what I want, and I can do what I want. Like dancing, people love to dance. People love their culture. People love wearing Indian clothes. People love dancing to certain songs. Love being in front of the audience. Makes their parents happy, you know? Their parents feel proud. The very first CIUS thing that I did was Satharang. Being in Satharang was a huge experience. Satharang is just a, basically a big cultural show that we have here, like many other schools have for their Indian organizations. Uh, it's going to be held April 8th, 2005. Well, last year was the first year I participated in Satharang, and I participated in fashion show. In, in Indian culture, shows tend to be more like, you know, a Paris fashion show or something like that, people walking down the runway with each other. But we wanted to do something a little bit different and uh, expose a little more culture and an understanding. So um, we decided to do the wedding scene with that. The Indian wedding supposed to be, that's the reason for arranged marriage, is not just two people coming together for the rest of their life. It's the bond between two families. And it's the last, ki last gift that the parents bestow upon the children. My freshman year, I was in the all girls dance. Practicing with those girls every week, twice a week, it really made us feel like family. I was in the Hindi film dance last year. Hindi film one in Punjabi pop. That I was proud to showcase it to my parents. I brought about like 15 family members to something itself uh, to you know showcase my talent and show them what I was actually doing, like doing very big things at MSU. Just the different colors, I think, maybe represent the different types of India, the different states of India. For example, from the south, we have um, the Bharatanatyam, which is Indian classical dance. Then we have Ras from the north, which is another classical form of dance. And the Bhangra, which is another dance. And then um, tribal from some of the um, more, you know, tri tribal regions in within India. Since we throw such huge events and we try to have successful events with professional quality, in the end, teamwork is what it comes down to. Well, we have three basic Southern coordinators. Um, one of them is for um, financial, getting all the money in. Another one is um, publicity, getting the word, word out there to like different companies and stuff. And the other one is for who's going to choreograph the dances, what's the theme going to be. And what I've noticed is that once you get in that boardroom, 
the titles do mean something, but that only goes so deep. The rest of it is everybody else has to pick up. Like the website I'm doing, I don't do that alone. We have a technician to help, we have a secretary to help. Now that I'm on the eboard, I meet with the other eboard members every week for about two to three hours. And then on top of that, uh, if we have a general body meeting, that would be another two hours. So really, it's about seven hours a week. It takes a lot from the rest of the eboard. There's 10 of us. Each person so far has had to give me three funding sources that I could try and contact. I have to raise $35,000 for our cultural show in April. I think after a while, after we started having the great events, people started realizing, you know, like CIUS has brought a lot of people together. These brown people have brought a lot of people together. You do get non-Indian students coming out to participate in it because they're like, oh, it's for a good cause, why not? Gandhi was a really great religious and social leader in India and he practiced non-violence. So in honor of his birthday, we do community service. We split off into groups and go to different sites. For example, what we did for Gandhi Day was that we dug up a pipeline so that it'll help them build a new water fountain. And this might not affect me directly, but for years to come, people that come to this park, they'll be able to benefit from the services that I provided for this park. I want Gandhi Day in five years to be a completely MSU-funded event, not CIUS affiliated anymore. Like, CIUS is the main thing, but MLK weekend, um, or MLK Day, is completely supported by MSU. I want that same exact thing to happen for Gandhi Day. What can Brow do for me? Like I said, community. I got to meet a lot of new people. I think that's one of the main things. And I also get to um, show my leadership skills. Through doing all this, I realized what it's like to be with other people. Granted, I was shy before, like I didn't talk to people so much. Now you talk to people, you realize that it's not just your thoughts, it's other people's thoughts. I learned a whole lot from CIU West. I know about my culture. My friends joke around that I will always be white on the inside, but I, I learned a whole lot about culture. And that's what actually Brown has done for me. It's given me this uh, comfort zone. It's given me a lot of friends. It's given me family. It's given me almost a life at MSU, so. Because even if I got one student to come out to these meetings who may not have known any Indians, if I got one kid to think that this is a community that they should be proud of, then I did something right. So you really can't measure your life on a piece of paper or resume. You have to measure it by all the experiences you've partaken in. And when you finish the end of the day, you have no regrets and no worries that you wasted any of your life or did anything in strife or without worry.